Well, that was the best one yet. I literally had to fucking crawl out of that. Oh man, thank. I I took the I took the rope off my waist. Good thing I did, because otherwise that would have been in there longer. I literally stuck my arms in, went all the way up to my waist on both legs. Oh shit. Oh, I'm not even that far from camp. I don't want to go back though. That's the nice thing about wool, you know. I just roll in the I'll just roll in the snow and it'll take most of the water out. Holy shit! I spent a little bit of time in there. Both my boots are full. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Yeah, I got to get back to my sleigh now. Fuck! I should have been smart and just cut through the bush over there like I did last time. It's been cold, it's minus 17 right now, uh, but it's been snowing so I should have known it wouldn't have salt, made this solid here. Come here! I won't be able to save you over there. I just crawled on my hands and knees. <laughs> oh man, that's why I speak, uh, see, all the way up to my crotch here. I just roll in the snow and then brush it off and my pants aren't even wet but my, my, my feet are pretty wet. They're not cold, but that's why wool is so awesome, eh? If I had been just wearing like jeans and cotton long johns or something, I'd be fucked. It's minus 17 right now. I think I'm just gonna keep going. Hopefully my feet don't get cold. I don't think they will. I got two thick wool socks on right now. I'm gonna have to drag this lay through the bush over there. Oh man, yeah, my mitts, my mitts aren't even, my hands went two feet underwater probably, you know? My arm, you know, well not two feet, but whatever, like, and they're dry because I just put them in the snow because they're pure wool. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the other side now, you know, it's uh, it's tempting to say you don't want to uh, pull your sleigh through that shit, but, you know, with a backpack would be no big deal, but over there is where I fell in. But it's worth it. Tiger's hooked up to pull the sleigh now. I didn't want him falling through and then getting tangled up and me having to rescue him. Thank God I didn't get my camera wet if it had been a little bit deeper. Hey? Nice, a big one. Beautiful. Fuck. Don't have my setters with me today. You gotta work fast before the, the trap freezes. There. Oh. Oh. Oh man, that's the third time today. I was planning on going a long way, but I think I gotta go back now. My boots, my feet are frozen. Oh shit. Not to mention, I gotta go through the forest, pulling the sleigh. 
which would mean I'd have to put this beaver in my backpack because, oh. That's a nice one though, that's a big one. Nice. There, beautiful. That's two beavers out of this house, so uh, I'll pull this trap. I was gonna set some snares here today if I didn't catch one in here. So you can see right there, I put a box a while back and I pre-baited it, and you can see obviously the mink went in there. So uh, I will uh, put some more bait in there in a trap. If I can get to it, if it's, the ice isn't too thin there, I'll check with the axe first. All right, well, I'm uh, back at camp. I was gone for uh, maybe three and a half hours, you know. Uh, so to start the day off, I uh, I, I drank uh, some shitty coffee this morning because I'm almost out of my uh, good coffee. So I figured I'd just mix it with some hot chocolate and it'd be all right. And uh, on the way down the hill to the lake, both my feet fly out from underneath me and I land right on my tailbone, like gives me an instant headache. And then I'm, uh, well, I showed you there, I'm on my way through the pinch point there and fall through the ice right up to my nuts and have to pull myself out through the willows and and uh, get my arms all wet and everything. And, uh, and then I'm down, uh, caught a caught a nice beaver you know that's that's good uh, and I uh, then I fall fall through the ice the third time I guess right there you know I fell through the ice four times today if you count them all like the one there was I guess I filmed that too you know that wasn't much and uh, but uh just stupidity, you know, like, I guess that's what happens when you drink shitty coffee or something, I don't know. Can't blame it on bad luck, you know, I should have been uh, testing with my axe and impatience and everything, but, uh, um, yeah, you know, when it, it's cold now, I think it's minus 17 and, uh, you know, which isn't too cold, but I mean, the ice should firm up, but it started snowing at the same time it got cold, so it, it stops the ice from forming in, in places, right, so. But, uh, you know, pretty good day anyways. I made it back. My feet didn't freeze off or nothing. You know, everything else, everything else, uh, stayed dry. It dried right out because it was all wool. What I should have done was take my boots off and my socks off and put them in the snow. But my socks just got soaked and then eventually my feet got pretty cold. Um, you know, not, nothing too bad. But, uh, caught a pretty big December beaver though. So, you know, it's, uh pretty good morning really I'll uh I'll remember that time though falling through the ice there though that was uh that was pretty good <laughs> got right up right up to my nuts yeah anyways I'm just uh well you can see uh, I probably won't be wearing those pants later I'll be wearing something else I'll go and check the rest of my traps uh going the other way and uh and I'll skin, I'll start a fire in the skinning shack and skin that beaver later on, you know, it's, uh, it's nice when I have something to skin because the, the days are so short, um, that, uh, gotta do something at night, you know, Some, sometimes, uh, when I know I'm not checking any traps the next day and I got a beaver or something, I'll, uh, I won't even board them that night, I'll just, uh, skin them and flush them and then leave them cool and board them the next night just so I have something to do, you know. Otherwise I'm in here uh, listening to the radio and drinking tea and twiddling my thumbs. So, anyways, I still got those two more lynx traps to check today. Those footholds, I gotta check them every day, you know. I'm getting a little uh, fed up of checking the same line every day, but uh, it'll be worth it if I catch one in the foothold. If I don't pretty soon, though, I'll just set some snares.